Hello, and welcome to this video on the mouse settings in the control panel. What does it do? Well, it allows you to make adjustments to your mouse settings. And don't worry, we'll go over what you see here in just a moment. Getting there? Well, if you're in icon view, you're just going to point to mouse and click on it. Or if you're in category view, you're going to go to hardware and sound, and then under devices and printers, you'll click mouse. So the first tab is the buttons tab. So the following functions are under the buttons tab. So button configuration basically allows you to switch the primary and secondary buttons. It allows you to switch what the left and right buttons do. So select this checkbox to make the button on the right, the one you use for primary functions, such as selecting and dragging. And this may be useful if you're left-handed. There's also the ability to adjust double-click speed. Remember the click-click? Some things require a double-click. You can adjust how fast that double-click is here. Maybe you want to go a little slower so it's more like a click-click. Or faster, so you have to do a click-click to do a double-click. And then there's click lock settings, which enable you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. Now this may sound useful, however, at times it can cause problems, especially when you're trying to single click things and then you re realize that you're dragging an icon instead. Um, if you're having problems like that, it could be that your click lock is turned on. Pointers. This allows you to change how your mouse cursor, or your pointer, looks. Remember, a cursor is also called a pointer. So you can choose a scheme, and it'll show you the different types of views for that scheme. You can also add a shadow. Pointer options. You can change the mouse cursor speed. That is how fast the cursor moves across the screen versus how far you actually move your physical mouse. So if I move my mouse one inch, will my cursor go one inch, or will it go halfway across the screen? Snap to options. Automatically move pointer to the default button in a dialog box. So what that means is, when I open a box, it will automatically move the mouse to the default selection, which in this case would be OK. It's highlighted by blue there. And there's also some visual effects, like pointer trails, hiding the pointer while typing, and showing the location of the pointer when you press the control key. Which, by the way, the control key is at the bottom left or bottom right of your main keyboard. And it's indicated by CTRL. The mouse wheel. So this tab adjusts the mouse wheel settings. And this is basically how far is the wheel going to scroll a page. So if I move the wheel one notch, how many lines will it go through? And then there's horizontal scrolling, which is the left to right, tilting the wheel to scroll the following number of characters. So it's kind of like a quick way to scroll through characters across the line in text. And then finally, finally, we have the Hardware tab again, which is information about the mouse, typically for troubleshooting and repair. So now that we're at the end of this, let's go ahead and open it up. So here we are, and I am going to go to Mouse and click it. And you'll notice we have all the tabs here. So if I were to click this button here, it would switch to left and right buttons. Then there's also the double click speed. So if you notice, when I double click this, so I'm double clicking it, the folder opens, and then I double click it again and it closes. Well, if I want the double click to be really slow, click, 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 or really fast, click, click, or click, click. If you notice, if I have it on really fast and I click, click, oh, nothing happened. So that means I might want it slower. Oh, there we go. So that's how you adjust your double click speed. And then turn on click lock 
is right here. Now when you do turn it on, there is a settings button, and it just adjusts how long you need to hold down a mouse or trackball button before your click is locked. Which, if you hold it down for a second and then it locks as held down. I'm not going to leave that that way. Now as pointers, remember I said there's different schemes. So we have, this shows how the pointer would look if I were to save it. There's all kinds of different ones here. So if you wanted to keep one of these, you would just apply. And there's pointer options. So this is selecting the pointer speed. So if I were to make this faster, then the mouse would move across the screen a lot quicker with the less mouse motion. Snap to, again, would automatically snap to the default button. And then visibility. So if I had display pointer trails, oh, do you see what the mouse is doing? It's just a neat little effect. Kind of showing you where your mouse is going. And if we had show location of pointer, then when I click that and I press the control key, this little target would actually show up. I'm not going to do that because it actually has another function on my computer. So here under wheel, here's those settings again. And we also have the hardware settings. I hope that these helped. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget the apply and cancel buttons.